So today we're going to look at some video clips and I'd really like your opinion on these. It'll just be interesting to see your perspective. Hello there and welcome. So some time ago I did a video about SLAP. That's an acronym for whether something that you do is safe, legal, whether it achieves anything and what the perception of other road users may be. Now I'm going to show you seven video clips here and I'm going to let you watch them without me commenting on them. And I'd invite you to comment and see what your first impressions are. I can say that in some cases my first impressions differ a little bit now that I've looked at the videos on several occasions. But when you're out on the road you only get one chance to make a decision very often and it's that first impression that will drive the response that you make as a road user. So here they are. The seven clips. So now you've seen these videos, I wonder what your thoughts are. So from my perspective, I'm going to have a look at each clip individually now, and share a few of my thoughts, and I wonder if they coincide with yours. So the first clip, you may have seen this in a video before. I don't think there's an awful lot to be said about it, really. Basically, overtaking someone coming out of a junction is probably not the most sensible of things to do. You can see here that the motorcycle does not appear to have a registration plate and the level of kit that they've got there is absolutely minimal. So if they were involved in an incident, road rash as a minimum is going to be an issue. The other problem we've got here of course is we're overtaking immediately onto a bend to the left. There may be a reasonable view for the biker, it's difficult to tell from our perspective but it's not the best ideas and also we have got a couple of little driveways there where people could emerge from. So I did notice that the motorcycle rider seems to have quite significant eye contact with the BMW driver. The question here would be, has something happened further up the road that we're unaware of? And maybe the motorcycle rider's got a bit irate, and hence why he's done this rather dubious manoeuvre. We'll never know. So on this clip we're on a dual carriageway, we can see a large goods vehicle ahead, and we can see that there's a, an exit slip coming up. There's also a lay-by on our left hand side. There we have a motorcycle going past us with pillion and it looks like he's going to take the exit which he does and it looks fairly late. Now on the face of it that could just be a good advanced manoeuvre with plenty of planning and no issues whatsoever. But what could go wrong with such a manoeuvre? The problem with exiting slip roads like that especially when you've got a very large vehicle is that that large vehicle may hide other vehicles. And when you take things to the last moment, especially with exiting on a slip road at high speed, things potentially could get a little bit interesting. The other thing to note is that with a pillion on the back of your motorcycle, the motorcycle might not respond quite as quickly as it would with just you, the rider, on your own. And braking distances are going to be a little bit longer. So we don't have that quite the same level of flexibility that we would have if we were on our own. 
So potentially, not a bad manoeuvre, but there are risks. You need to be absolutely certain that your visibility there is going to be good. This clip doesn't look particularly interesting, but actually the car was waiting for the oncoming traffic so it could emerge because of the traffic calming. And what those bikes have done essentially is overtaken a car that is waiting. Well, you might argue that's all right, it's only a motorbike. But the oncoming traffic was forced to stop. It's not exactly very good practice. And if that car driver hadn't have checked their blind spot or their mirror and decided to go for it because the oncoming car had stopped, then you can see what the results there could be. Yeah, your bike is nimble, and yes, you can dodge in and out of traffic. But sometimes you'd have consider, is it just worth trying to save a few seconds by riding in that manner when actually it could cost you a lot more? This one's a bit of an old classic. We've seen stuff like this before. On the face of it, just making progress, getting up towards the lights. What's the big deal? And whilst the bike's got plenty of room between the two rows of stationary traffic, if you look at the speed of it, had anyone decided to change their position or to open a door, it could have been a little bit dodgy. You haven't got much time to think and re respond at those type of speeds. So probably better to go through that gap a little bit slower with a little bit more caution. Okay, so this clip here with the little bikes, you probably think there's nothing much to say about this at all, really. And you could well be right. The thing for me that I noticed, when the bikes first came around the, the left-hand bend for them, which is the right-hand bend for the car, the lead bike is pretty much in the middle of the road. Now, had that car been travelling at a much higher speed, the lead motorcyclist would have had significantly less time to respond and move further to his left. So it's all very well being in the middle of the road on a left-hand bend, but as we've discussed many times before, you need to have a good long view of the road ahead. No drama here, but certainly worth something to consider. So I wonder what you thought of this clip here, especially those of you who have done advanced training with IAM, ROSPA, or maybe police riders. So the first motorcycle, bit of a red herring really, nothing to mention about him at all. But as we get further up the road, what we see is a vehicle coming towards us and a motorcycle essentially on the bend on our side of the road. So what does the approaching vehicle driver think of that motorcycle at first glance? Likely he thinks that the bike's going to be overtaking and we're in a situation where it's going to get a little bit unpleasant. From the motorcyclist's perspective, was he going to do a dodgy overtake? Or was he in fact using an advanced technique where he was just popping out for the view, a little bit of offsiding? seeing the oncoming van and then deciding to pull back in again. This one very much brings into perspective the perception of other road users because you could frighten someone by being out there too long in the wrong place. One would hope that the rider was using advanced techniques and not having a near miss and having to change his mind at the last moment. And finally, the motorway clip with the motorcyclist travelling at high speed, undertaking and moving rapidly into lane 4. Interesting to see how the bike doesn't appear to have a number plate, or if he does, it's very well concealed. And notice he's got bare arms and a lot of his body is exposed to his lower garments. So you combine that style of riding with poor levels of kit, he's only going to get something wrong. It's going to be very, very unpleasant indeed, especially with the speeds involved. So thank you for watching this video. I look forward to seeing your comments and your thoughts and your perceptions of what you've seen today be very interesting to share. So until next time, ride safe and take care.